All right, hello world. You know, I could probably do the little shift in the chair before I switch over to this view. Same thing with ooh, having a drink and hitting the mic. I'm gonna put this over here. It's gonna be a better idea. Still getting used to this. Wow. Couldn't tell if I could hear that or not. Anyways, hey folks, uh, welcome to tonight's stream. Um, I should say um less. That is a thing I will work on. Uh, uh, and then I'm about to do it. So tonight, uh, and uh, I should stop saying uh, 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 a lot. Tonight I'm going to play with Slimmer JS. Oops. Oh, only has. Oh, it's Slimer. I didn't even pick that up, so... Slimer JS. That's awesome. Um, open a web page, click on like... I just want to play around with this a little bit and see what we can do with it. Um, mainly I want to see if I can bounce from a page to a page, like find some links. And just see what it's all about. Uh, so yeah, open source. It runs off of um, can battle with Casper JS. Oh, it's ghost and a ghost. I get it. Open a web page. Useful for functional tests, page automation, network monitoring, screen capture, screen uh, web scraping, etc. Uh, it runs on top of Gecko instead of WebKit. So there's another one out there that I forget the name of that runs off WebKit. This one runs off Gecko. I just ran across the link and figured I would play with it. So 500 followers, uh, scriptable browser, like PhantomJS, that's the other one. Uh, eh, whatever, we'll follow. So I've got it installed, or I've got it downloaded. Somewhere I have a finder window, which we'll pull over here. Uh, got it on the desktop here. Was just looking at the readme a minute ago. Um, so I've got Firefox, download the latest package. We've got on Windows bad is provi provided. It doesn't really say anything, um, but I think, so launch, open a terminal in the directory of Slimer. It doesn't have a source, so I guess that is it. And run that. So the given script, my script, I guess, is executed. Is there a my script actually in here? No. Do they not ship you a example? Because you need to fire off a script. License, application, Chrome. It also has a, uh, you can also run this in Node, but I just wanted to run it without Node for no particular reason. Uh, the given script, my scripts is an executor in the window. If your script is short, you probably won't see this window. For example, launch some tests. If you exclude some from the source code. Unlike Phantom. Oh, it's not headless. You see all windows, it's open. Okay. Uh, because of the limitations of Gecko. Okay, so Phantom, if we wanted to have it be completely headless. And I don't really know what I'm going to do with this. It's just... I don't know, it seems like an interesting tool. There's a tool called XVFB available. It allows you to launch graphical programs without the need of X Windows environments, blah, blah, blah. We would just use Phantom if we really want to do that. Let's see any windows, you have problems, see this, getting help, ask questions. So why didn't it? So we're gonna just pull from their simple example here. Let's see how, what this we think this does. So require web page create. Uh, 
hope it's somewhere. Yeah, they should really give you a... Web page dot open. I don't know if you heard that Windows chime. It was very loud. Then function. I'm going to take a screenshot of the page. All right, let's actually try something really simple. So. Looks like these are all Let's go to everybody's favorite. wasn't kind of protocol JS. Yeah, that's the only JS file there. So Slimer JS scripts launch. Aww. See Gecko version compatibly. If version is correct, launch Slimer JS with the bug to see the Firefox error. Okay. Yes. Bug. True. Platform version 81 is not comparable with min version, max version 59. Uh, how am I going to get? Wait a minute. So here's a question. Copyright. 2013 to 2018. I wonder if this is still being maintained. Download documentation. release notes yeah I'm guessing this ain't gonna work okay let's look at phantom JS I think maybe I played with this before but add this web browser yeah cool Flying sample script, Google Home page, waits a bench, then captures it to an image. Require web page, page open thing, fire function, set timeout for function, render Google to ping. Cool. Uh, also 2018. Page automation install. Nice. Mac. Do this. Uh, does Slimer JS still work? Firefox 63. I don't see how you could monkey patch. This is December 29, so Firefox has done a fundamental resign, which makes Firefox Slumber.js impossible, difficult to continue. Bummer. 
Oh well. Oh, Phantom JS. Also failed due to the difficulty of keeping up with WebKit changes, and the maintainer quit. Phantom JS is C. So it works great for what it worth. It's just that you can't use Firefox newer than 62. I'm on like 80 something, I think. Looks like its initial function is Linux with OS and second priorities. How's this year? Okay. Two remarks Phantom JS corrector said he was back in action. I didn't find any comments. Uh, archiving the projects, spinning the development. Switching Python 3. What? This just is outdated in 2018. Hm. I'm not gonna mess with those then. Uh, let's see. Automatically make picture of web pages. See what I want. What's the one that I'm thinking of? There has there's one that I use. I can't remember the name of it. Uh, here, let me get rid of these just because I don't want them floating around. Kind of a bummer. See ya. And see ya. Too good to get me there? What does this do? Turns out it's a dead project. Bummer. What's the name? Selenium. matter right uh so let me all my browsers that's it yeah so this is what i used to use the web driver it's got an ide that's interesting Firefox add-on will do simple record and playback iterations with the browser. Oh, that's interesting. Wait. So if you want to create robust browser-based regressions, regression automated test suites. That's the name of these songs. Maybe fix that tonight, maybe. Across many environments, you want WebDriver collection of language-specific bindings to drive a browser. If you want to create quick Log reproduction scripts, create scripts to aid in automation, aided exploratory testing. Then you want IDE, a Chrome and Firefox add-on. It'll do simple record and playback interactions with the browser. That might be interesting. I'm gonna scale to through. Yeah, we don't need the grid. Okay, uh, let's look at Client and web driver language bindings. Oh, so you would put it into Python or whatever. Let's go to Firefox. Where'd it go? There it is. For Firefox. 
I'm not a big fan of add-ons. Like, I mean, it exposes all your stuff, but like, yeah, this add-on is not actively monitored for security by Mozilla. Make sure you trust it before installing it. Like, I know enough people that use Selenium and I'm using it in a browser that I don't really use. So like, I'm gonna be okay with it. It can still mess with the files. Like, yeah, it requires permission, access data for all websites, download files and read and modify the browser's download history, display notifications, so what? Access browser tabs, access browser activity during the navigation. So yeah, I'm like, I'm fine with all that. It doesn't touch the file system. And this is a browser that I only use for testing. So let's do it. Also, it's Selenium, so I'm less worried about it. Uh, a lot to be run in private windows. Eh, whatever. Flip that if we need it. I don't see anything happening. Extensions and things. I was looking over there. Yeah, it's, this is giant on the screen for me, but I think that's going to be okay for you. Uh, recommendations. No, I want extensions. How about the ones that I've got? Yeah, of course, I use uBlock Origin. So, like, it's watching all my traffic, anyways. Um, report manage. How do we get to it? Sound record interactions with websites to help you generate, maintain, manual step recording and playback, test in Firefox, organize tests, save with scripts. How do we use it? Extension UI. Selectors accuracy and option ranking selectors. We can optimize. Okay, intelligent editing. How do we launch it? Here, let's try this. True, save to pocket. Oh, they've got Firefox has pocket built in now. Interesting. Uh, non obvious. I wonder if I take a screenshot here. Drag or click on the page to select a region. Press escape to cancel. Save full page. Does that do? Oh, it does the full page. Nice. Even the stuff that's not visible. Spent so much time having to do that stuff. Uh, actually, let's see. Nah, whatever. Yeah, we're just messing around tonight. Uh, where do we get to? Is it a menu? I need less warbly. I really don't know where it is. Am I missing it? Web developer seems like it should be in there. Oh man, it's been so long since I've done web dev. I like all this stuff. That's awesome. Maybe we'll just do it with Python. Who do you use? IDE. Right, how do I get to this? Okay, I didn't install anything. This was recording playback. Yeah, so how, how do we launch it in Firefox?
I don't have that button. Oh, I'm in a private window. I always do private window. There it is. Okay. That makes sense. I just keep it private all the time so I don't have to worry about cookies. Uh, and I can see uncached things. Now we see it. That was silly. Welcome to the recorder new test project. An existing create a new project. Close. Or a new test and a new project. Project name. See example. Uh, let's get Google. Whatever. See example. Let's keep it. Don't do too crazy. I sometimes jump to you know, specify a valid base URL for your project. Your tests will start by navigating. Okay. Start recording. Ooh, it's recording. More information. Record a click. Let me stop it. <coughs> Gotta get that mute button going. Stop it. <coughs> Anybody see where the stop button is? There it is. Test one. Because what I'm interested in, oh, set window size, click, click. Interesting. What I'm wondering is if you can find, so I can put that where you see it. You know what? I want to do this headless. Let's let's do the Python. Excuse my sniffling. Selenium. Spell selenium again. I want the thing. Drugs. I guess it is dev. Okay. This looks familiar. Web driver download. Can you just do November 2018. Oh, this is all old. Why are these all so old? Ruby's 2019. It's a year old. These are all two years old. Download alpha download. Selenium alternative. What are people using these days? Not the drug. Open oh, source task on the tool. Selenium IDE. Free rests. 
heard of any of these. Casper JS. That's the one that we heard about. Oh, is this still active? Twenty sixteen. Unlikely. So I guess we should look at the repo if it has the repo. Stall Phantom or Slimer then. Okay, so now it has to sit on top of this. Weird. Yeah, let's just do this. What the U is for pip install. What does that mean? Ooh, giant pip logo. Nope. Uh, installation, not helpful. We're looking for use guide. Creation, command completion, install local if needed. Or arguments. Guide. Install options. That sounds right. Oh, there's you. What does you stand for? Oh, upgrade if a new version is available. Okay. Just wasn't sure. Uh, yeah. So let's make a new. We can do it in this in the scratch pad. That's fine. So new. Uh, what am I doing? Directory. Selenium stuff. I'm gonna go here. Sure. Selenium. See what that does. I've already got a virtual environment set up here. I don't want to like just push it straight into my actual system stuff. I always use uh, virtual environments. So and the sandbox one or scratch pad one is just where I throw a bunch of stuff right now or doing all this stuff. I just spilled. Oh, wow, I really spilled. Looks like I peed myself. I don't think I did. Good news is it's Diet Coke, so it's not sticky. Okay. Selenium, new file. Such crazy stuff just happened down there. Um, Selenium test one, still wet. All right, user bin environment. Python 3. Hear that. Uh, import Selenium. Rent HW, hello world. And run this one. Working? Yeah. Cool. That was easier than all that Firefox stuff. Downloads. Where is our documentation? Under the documentation link. Python. Of course, Selenium WebDriver, an interface to write instruction sets that can be run interchangeably in many browsers. Here's one of the simplest that you can make. My keys, WebDriver, wait. Presence of element located. Let's see, so with WebDriver, Firefox is driver. Wait. Not sure. Get. I don't know what that is. NCR. It's just Google. Oops. Come here. 
find element by name, send keys, cheese. Keys return, find result. Wait until placement element CSX, select your H3 div, print. First result, get attribute text content. Okay. We just gotta copy and paste and see what happens. Does it work? Please work. Whoa. Where's Firefox? Show more. Oh, that's cool. I think that just worked. That's pretty cool. I remember first, the first time I tried to get Selenium to install, it was just a super pain. I don't know what I was doing because that was, was I doing it in a different language? Was I doing it in Ruby maybe? I can't remember. Uh, maybe I was doing the, no, I was doing the language or the web driver. Getting started, Trinity Selenium, few resources, quick tour web driver. Browser running controls. This is if you're a real user, since web drivers not require an API. So not require its API to be compiled with application code. It's not intrusive. Okay. IDE grid. Okay. Sure. Okay. Sure. Controls web browsers. Simulate common activities. One interface to rule them all. <sighs> Tools and support. Some destination, wait. One of the project's guiding principles is a common interface for all major browsers. Okay, yeah. Yeah, web browsers are incredibly complex, I would imagine. Yeah, it looks the same while they're doing it, but the underneath parts are incredibly different. I'd buy that. I, I don't know, but I'd buy that. Yeah, so Selenium abstracts all that stuff away. Tools and support. Use your tool to put together with grids of browsers so you can test and run on different browsers and operating systems machines. That's cool. Who uses Selenium? Lots of people. We actually used it for a while. I don't know if we still do or not. History, that's cool. 2004. Yeah, there, there didn't used to be a way to do this stuff. I remember when first Selenium first came out, I was like, ooh, that's cool. Just over us, over there. You know, when you use a browser, odds are at some point, if you're working on a complex web app, you'll need to open a browser and actually test it. Yeah. determination of browser testing business and have selenium environment so it's cool that selenium is working like it looks like it wasn't updated since 2018 but like it fired and worked there so yeah don't write too big tests Python, we got user, user factory, create common user, specialist defined elsewhere, user login, okay. Page job done module. Unicorn is a top level object, it has attributes, which are set here. That's more than I'm gonna get into tonight. Uh, that's gonna be a good test for tonight. So let's see. If we can get, oh, this is gonna be all, yeah, that stuff. Um, I'm trying to think. I use RSS feed so much of the time, I don't go to websites for the most part anymore. Um, what's a good, oh, let's look at, uh, 
Daring Fireball, which I swear is one of the greatest website names there is. And let's see if we can get the link from this thing. Probably need some source code in a minute. All right, so WebDriver, Firefox. So to start with, we're just gonna get the page. Driver, find element. By name, Q. So let's look at Google for a second. And just see what it was doing. So this should be Name Q, so it's finding this element, which is an input, and then send keys, so it's sending keys to it. Oh, and keys return, so it sends cheese and then it hits return. Then it waits. That makes a tremendous amount of sense. First result, wait until presence of element located by CSS selector. Oh, look at this. Oh, this is cool. All right, so we want to find an element. Oh, I'm on the, I'm actually already there. I'm gonna keep those. We want to find an element. But we're going to go by CSX, CSS, SCSS, CSS, selector. Here. Inspect. Where are you? Any class permalink to so DL Webster, block quote. Okay, what we're looking for is here. So let's just grab linked list and see what happens. Oops. So we find it. We're just gonna try some stuff. Should figure out how to run it headless. I swear this plays the same 10 songs. So no web driver session. Ooh, look at all this stuff. This was, we're not gonna do that. That was for Slimer, right? Yeah, it was all Slimer stuff. Yeah, I changed my, uh... font for all this stuff. 
All right, Firefox web element, session element. So is that this? Not subscriptable. Oops. We're not that. Whoa, no, we don't. All right. Selenium example. How about that? Getting started. Assert Python driver. Okay, so driver basically gets the page. Element, find element by, okay, so yeah, so we need to pull this in. What's the... Oh, I actually just, um, I have to cough again. So you can use nth selector. I think. Oh, I should probably do driver close. Excuse me. find elements, one is find element by whatever. Oh, we're doing a find element and then passing it that way. Special keys can be sent, oh wait, hang on. For example, the input text can be located by its name, find element by name method. Detail explanation of finding elements, locating elements. CSS selector, which is what we're in, right? Yeah, okay, it's the other way to do it. So now we just need to get, find multiple elements. These will return a list, here we go. We're gonna replace that, we're gonna do this, this. If I knew what I was doing more in CSS, I would try and get just the, uh, just the first one. But we're gonna try this first. Give us this again. Ooh. Oh, lots of elements. Okay. Somehow we gotta get to the element. D, find it, look at my name. Yeah, yeah, how do we use it? I gotcha, how do we use it? Find me, locating elements, navigating, okay. Wait, it's page objects maybe. Title. Elements. It's the same ten songs. Start messing with it in a second. Menu, subdriver menu. Move to element menu, click. Ooh. So I'm to try something. Does that give me one?
Last time that went away. Sure. Yeah, okay, so there's one. And then so how, is it just, is it that element? I wanna see all the stuff inside element. Has no attribute element. Firefox web element. Let's Google that. <laughs> System Firefox web element, right? I don't know if she'd be worried that Python isn't in here, but it should all be the same. Constructors, properties. Get the point, selected size, tag name, text. Gets the inner text. Is that a... So I think we call it that way. What you gonna do? Crap. If I knew Python better, I would have an idea of what to do right now. But I'm just gonna keep banging on it until something happens. Remote web element to string. So where is it? Hmm. Find elements. Finds the first element in the page. Wait a minute. Web element. Crap. All right, last thing to try. This way. How to get text from Selenium element. Here we go. Oh, is it really lowercase? There you go. Subscribed to a hamburger. Special guest underscore David Smith. Let's see where that actually was. Uh, I just got updated because a minute ago, Shroudenford was a thing. So where? Is that text? Oh, one would be the second element. I'm sure it's zero offset, but how? Where is this? Whoa, that's way down the page. Is that the next? Wow, how is that? There. Oh, it is the second link. What the hell? What is this? Uh, I don't understand. Where 
Where's the first link? Wednesday, September 30th. How? I'm super confused. Unless there's multiple in here. Uh, maybe there's multiple in here. Oh, but that's what it is. How do we open all these? Can we open all these? Email addresses would be really annoying to get over the phone. Oh, okay. So there's that. I don't understand how... Oh, I wonder... Ah, okay. I think I see what's going on. Let's see if this is right. Oops, go away. Thought that turned away. So there's no date up here. But then we have this as a date. So that's the H3, whatever it was. So they've all got dates. Wait. Yeah, so the it's you start with a list of items. How to protect yourself from aerosol COVID. Yep, so that's the first one. And then DD should be the body text. Yep. And then DT is going to be the next link. There's Shroud and Foida. That's actually what we were originally looking for. That's cool. And then DD is the body. Shroud and Foida. Mary Webster. Yep. DT. Okay. Yeah. And then there's a date classification. Okay. So let's try and see if we can find how to pull out whatever the first one is and get the text and the link. I think that'd be a good exercise. So first one is this goes to zero, right? But actually, what, really what we need to do is figure out how to do the CSS pathing. Uh, which is also a good experiment because I don't know how to do that very well. So let's do Okay, it's gonna return a list. So we can still get the first element. So I think if we do DT there, right, because we're in link list class and then DT and then A. And then give it zero to give us the first one in that mix. Browsers, Phantoms no longer supported, J Browser Driver, all current Java, Selenium is well known, powerful tool, headless dependencies. In the past, Selenium had that. Whoa. Oh, they've got one of those weird things when you make a highlight, it does stuff. Flying show because you had to run. Test that uses Selenium. Java. Okay, so they want you to run their thing. I don't know if that means you can still run Selenium headless or not. Python. Perfect. 2017. Here we go. Yeah, it's looking for Phantom JS. Ooh, all kinds of crap to sell me. There's a number of uses and example. Uh, see when I want to see a date on this. Twenty. Uh, that's when the thing was updated. Well, okay, we'll see headless later. Let's see if we what we got. There we go. 
Yep, we got the text. Cool. That's very cool. Uh, okay, sure. And we're not using those. We're not using those. We're not using those. Now, how do we get the uh, the link? That's the other thing I want. All right, don't need that. We'll keep that for a minute. So that's location. Uh, so how do you how do you print items in an element? Properties. Dur, okay. Wrong. Here we go. So let's see. Whatever, we can keep that there. Let's just do this. Print. Dur. Of element zero. So you're gonna give us Kinds of stuff. Maybe I should have looked at the uh, that page a little more. I know there's fars or inspect module get you interested in. I use built in as an example. The built in is yeah, whatever. Um, I think one of them actually, let's just nah, that's fine. I think one of them takes away some of those built-ins or whatever. There we go, all kinds of stuff. Ooh, screenshot is ping. All right, let's start up here. Anonymous children clear click. Bunch of finds. What is it with the warbliness on these things? And that's that same next find elements get attribute that looks promising yeah so we got the text let's get the attribute I'll bet this is it what do you think so oh wait Oh yeah, yeah, so we're in we're in the A, and that's the text of the A. So now what we want to do is get attribute source. I'm guessing. Let's see how this goes. Really wish we could run it headless. Oh, it needs to be in print. Gotcha. Take two. I almost tried that. Should have tried it. Oop. Survey says it's the same song. I don't understand this. There's like 500 tracks in there. None. That seems wrong. Because that's a linky link. href. I was looking for an image source. Let's try the right attribute. href, right? For some reason, I'm losing that. There we go. Here we go.
There's our link. Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. I like it. Now how... I do want to try and do the CSS stuff. Oops, what's that doing? To get... Also, by the way, PyCharm showing those gray things, lines for stuff that's not being used. Very nice. It's in something. Oh, first of type. Here we go. Ah, there we go, down there. It's kind of a weird start. First of type selector in CSS allows you to target the first occurrence of an element within its container. It's defined in CSS. Selector's level three spec. It's a structural pseudo class. Meaning it's used to style content based on its relationship with a parent and sibling content. Okay, cool. P first of type. Actually, I want to use nth child. Yeah, because nth child is going to be more specific. And I want that specificity. And also, if I change it and want to get the second link, I want the... Uh, Nth of type, right? That's what we're looking for. Oh, last of type. Let's look at nth of type. This is funny, 2013. So I, most of my web dev was before this. But I don't know. It's like all this stuff was kind of coming out when I was still kind of messing with web stuff, but like, it's just been forever nth of type two all right nth of type selector allows you to select one or more elements based on the source order according to a formula defined as css3 right suppose we have an relation with zebra stripe alternating rows nth of type two n N is a little n, a is a value. Is operator plus minus. B is an integer as required if the operator is included in the format. Okay. So I think that just means if I do. So you append it to the thing. Was it in prints? Yes, one. Find element, I think is what it was. And then I should have copied that line and commented it out. Oops, it's gonna be element. Yeah, I should have copied all that stuff, that text. Let's just see what that does, see if we're close. Because I have now made several changes and I'm no longer one undo away from green because I did all that crap. I got it though. Hey, look at that. Uh, element. It's not elements anymore. I don't need that. Right? Ooh, let's get all crazy and get the second one. So let's grab this for our notes. It's too good to go. Oh, it's so cool. Just put in some of the links we're using here. I oh, don't need 
like that. that oh there's actual text down there find link by link oh id by link there you go find my x path <laughs> web driver api we didn't use this one did we i don't think so nope. uh daring firewall we'll Daring fireball in there. And so the second one should be that's our Schaden, Schadenfreude. Schadenfreude? Schadenfreude. Say it eight times, Alan. Where are we going? PyCharm? And this is not zero indexed, so I want the second one. That's kind of nice every now and then to have two mean two. And we do this. Ooh, I got a star. There's a star. Why did it get a star? Oh, I get it. I wanted the second DT. Oh, interesting. So it, it went into a place where there was a second A. I should have put, uh, yeah, this is good. I should have put this. Oh, yeah. So being real specific, I want the first link. Oh, and actually, let's get real specific. So first. First, oops, no, second, first link, right? Come on, Schadenfreude. Just kind of a weird thing to ask for. There we go. That's super cool. Not 100% sure what I'm going to do with that, but I kind of like having it. Um, It's like, there's your scraper, right, for doing stuff. Oh, what's the beautiful soup? Some of the stuff is coming back to me. Yeah, so this is... A little bit different. Beautiful Soup 3 is no longer developed without support. No longer being developed and it will be dropped on or after December 30th, 2020. Oh, oh but Beautiful Soup 4 is going to be around. Okay, cool. Yeah, so this is another one that you would do parsing of documents, but you got to go you gotta go get the document. Um, or you gotta go get the thing. So, uh, or just another way to do it. It's it's not using Firefox though, uh, and it, you have to. Yeah, you have to feed it an HTML document. So it doesn't. Like if there's a whole bunch of JavaScript on a page that you try and get with like wget or whatever, um, it won't it won't parse through that. Um, you have to turn it into the HTML and that's what Selenium can do. Um, I wanna see, I don't know why that just froze. What's going on? Hello? That was super weird, I'm being hacked. Selenium. Headless. Python. T 
See, this says June 2020. Oh, from RealPython. Wait. RealPython, okay. I'll look at these comments. Uh, there they are. Six years ago, seven years ago. Where those comments go? Two years ago, Phantom, Phantom GS is unfortunately on high S. So use Chrome or Firefox in headless mode instead. Ooh, hello. Yeah, straight from developer Mozilla. Firefox is runs normal, minus invisibility. Not so useful, useful for surfing the web. Comes into its own automated testing. Oh, look at this. Ooh, you can take screenshots headless. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, what's a very long page? Uh, my page is kind of long now, right? It shouldn't fit on. Ooh, I want to see something. I don't know why. Basic uses follows. Well, let's actually do this page. This page is really long. Uh, let's do this. Applications, Firefox. What was I gonna do if I just run that? Is it open? Oh, I CD into it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If I just run it, it CD'd into it. Okay. Let's get out of there. Uh, desktop, sure. This is how. This is silly, but. Um, path to Firefox. You don't have to put a dot or anything there? Creates a full height screenshot called screenshot ping in the Active Directory. The viewport width of 800, not great, but okay. Ooh, unless you can do the viewport. Oh, window size X, set a custom viewport width, take a screenshot. Full height is maintained. Oh, I spent so much time hacking this to make this work a long time ago. Uh, no profile. Let's, okay, let's just try one to see if we can get it to go without doing any other crazy stuff first. Just, is this it? We just call that? What's in there? Content Mac OS. That's what contents. Let's see what happens if we just call that. Mission denied. All right. <laughs> Firefox, how? Uh, info. Info. Permissions. Read write. We do execute. Well, let's just do this. Firefox. 
headless Mac. Oh, selenium. Look at this. Oh. It's got to assume you already have a gecko driver on your machine. Setting up selenium, Python for selenium. Oh, that's cool. I want to get the screenshot working, though. All right, let's do. It's a new song. Okay, that opened. So that's the path. Can you throw a dot in front of that? No such file directories. No. This was the permissions. All right, let's fix that. Uh, grab fire. Fire! I've got execute. A little grindy, but I'll take it for now. Hope that's not too loud. Path to Firefox Mac. Is it? Utilities, Chrome Apps, Stardew Valley. Here we go. That's probably it. I almost looked at that, if that's it. Uh, let's go here. Firefox contents Mac bin. Oh. Uh, oh. Let's do this. Running in headless mode. That's a good sign. Oh. Goodbye. You gonna do it? It's taken a while, but this has taken a long time. One twenty ish, one ten ish. This is taking a very long time. There's no way. Abnormal shutdown. We're gonna do Ben just to see what happens. Maybe you do have to send it a profile.
Yeah, there's no way. Uh, where was all that profile stuff? Profile, my profile, Firefox. I never set up a profile, like I don't know. account sign in I will have to sign in mm -hmm. that was weird it pushed it the other way what's this gonna do I did something wrong here the Firefox profile. Oh. What else is in here? Uh, nothing Firefox. Come on, crap. I mean, that's it. Headless when using screenshot as is it as it is implied. So are the default values mentioned above? Name your also a custom name. Gonna copy this, paste, put this in here, make sure nothing crazy is going on. Do it. Is there a desktop? Actually, let's bring this back. Whoa, we got lots of windows. Lots of windows. Desktop. Updater compile has no idea what you're using. Firefox 60 and Linux have no idea. Let's see also, if screenshot isn't saved. Firefox might be trying to save where it doesn't have permission to write. Yeah, interesting. Maybe Firefox can't write out there? can definitely right there. Unless it can't. Um, directory that the world can write to and see what happens.
Come on. Make sure it's not actually. Yeah, no. No. Screenshot. I have to manually quit Firefox and screenshot is done. Are oh, they doing spin? Missing. Oh, let's try this. Chrome headless screenshot. Getting started with headless Chrome. Just let that run. I mean, it's just gonna sit there. Screenshot, some of the techniques, out of date, consider using puppeteer, good lord. Chrome headless. We're in Chrome and headless mode. All these capabilities. Oh, there's 17. 17, 18, 19, 20. Oh, look at this. That's kind of neat. You know what we should do? So we've got whatever. just a single command to do this. Blah, 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 blah. Selenium, Ruby, come on. And options, come on. There's just, there's gotta be a command line. At the Chrome headless screenshot. See, okay, that's what I'm looking for. On the first screen of visible content of a Wade with a page capturing Chrome and window. So here's the question. It will only make an image of the request portion of the request web page. If you screenshot the entire web page, you can use width height argument shown. Make sure you capture the full page is recommended to utilize width and height greater than the existing web page. Ah, oh, see, come on. I 
that doesn't work. Because the thing is with Chrome, I want it to, when was this? 2019, with Chrome, I want it to take the full height of the page. And like, I don't know what that height is, right? Yeah, it's 1280 by 768. You can also, yeah, see, that doesn't. Pretty sure that's never going to finish. Probably a permissions thing. Um, hopefully, nothing crazy comes across here that's bad for you. See, this is updated too, it looks different. Thing there. Eh, whatever. That sucks. Because it was going to be full height versus Chrome. Uh, well, let's at least see if we can get that working. Let's Google Chrome. No, okay. So, applications, Google Chrome, contents, Mac OS, Google Chrome. What's that gonna do? Opening an existing browser. Headless, disable GPU, let's throw all that in there and see what happens. Writing file. Open screenshot ping. There we go. All right, so now where is, let's throw this at it and just see what happens. Whoops. Totally lost it. No, oh, it overwrote it. Uh, update. See, it doesn't doesn't do the full height, and you could guess at the width, but or the height, but that's a fool's errand. Oh, so close. Screenshot, I like it's just, that's just it. What if... There's no way this works, but we're gonna try it anyways. Permission denied. <sighs> Why? I don't get it. I don't understand. Mm. 
Works in one browser, but it doesn't work the way we want. Wait, let's try this. Using headless browsers. Mm-hmm, 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 headless chrome, puppeteer. Yeah, 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 wait for the page to load, remove the background, none of that talks about Safari. Yeah. Missing headless equivalent for Safari. Oh, so let's try. Let's put it this way. Let's do this. That's the Chrome. Let's do two. Those don't work. We'll leave them there for a minute. Let's go back to our command line. We're just gonna grab this. I'm gonna just make some notes while we're doing this. So that worked. All right. So we're just gonna burn through these. Chrome. Printing the DOM. Oh, wow. Oh, interesting. Hmm. That's super interesting. I mean, it's the same thing as doing W get, or is it? Hang on a second. Is this doing? All right, so let me look at Google, right? Whoops, Google. Because like this is the source, right? So this is actually if you if you do a wget or a curl, it has all that mess. Well, I guess it actually. Well, yeah, maybe script function script. Yeah, body. There's no. Yeah, there's no actual HTML in here. Cause it's doing it's all in this script. Body, there's a why is the style inside the body? It's kinda weird. Uh whoops. One of those. Uh... Oh, less thans. Okay, never mind. Uh, oh, how about greater thans? 
hundreds. Never mind. Search was removed. Good lord. There's all kinds of nutso. Yeah, so that's all. That's everything that comes down. It's just a whole bunch of gobbledygook. Script, yeah, in body HTML. So the question is Does this process and pull down the DOM? Like the, I don't know if it's called the shadow DOM anymore or whatever, but the actual like compile. Nope, it doesn't. I wasn't sure if it actually like turned it into this. Oh, there is still a giant script in there. So wait, 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 is that? Have a style in there? Div style. Oh, uh, wait a minute. Yeah, it might. All right. Let's see if we can figure this out. Because I'm curious to see if this, if when you call this, if it's giving us sources or if it's giving us elements. And I think it's giving us elements. So how can we figure that out? In here, actually, sources. Is there a div in here? matches hmm. oh there is that in there crap interesting I'll I'll look at this this may be maybe interesting dumb dumb putting the Dom yeah creating a PDF Taking screenshots. Size of standard. Yeah, C, Nexus 5. Running screenshot will produce screenshot. Current directory for full page screenshot. Things are tad more involved. Ah. Here we go. I think I've been here before. Yup. Some techniques and surrounding So I'll use a node headless. Hmm. So what is all this stuff doing? Load. Chrome remote interface, analyst. Whatever. Um, it's twenty seventeen, twenty seventeen. 2019. Debating how much more time I want to spend on this. Use a Selenium web driver. Browser space cased. I've been here before. Ooh, that's kind of crazy. I didn't actually look at that GIF before. We're doing the same when browser's like, uh. Maybe browser screen in headless mode. Firefox headless, best choice. Now we found this. Chrome Firefox, you want to install another browser if you already have Chrome Firefox. Hmm. 
Hmm. Yeah, so you gotta resize, resize the window to take a screenshot. I don't wanna do that. But maybe if I can call Firefox Selenium. Screenshot. Python. Work with me. With this method, uh, WebDriver Firefox get get screenshot to file driver quit in. Oh my God, is it really that simple? You can use wait in here a little bit easier. Uh, probably. Where's PyCharm? Where's PyCharm? All right, so this Selenium test one. Now we're gonna do or Selenium. Make screen shot pi. Sometimes screenshots one word. Sometimes it's two. User bin environmental Python Python three. Copy the code, paste the code. From Selenium report web driver, from time report sleep. Uh, we should give it a better path. If this works, I will have spent an hour doing stuff to find a couple pieces of code, which happens. There's Python. There's the end. Here's a screenshot. Oh, no, see. Oh, maybe that is. Where's that developer one? Just to give this a shot. Let's see if it pulls this the full thingamabob. Please have worked. Nope. See, it's just the opening window. I want the full thing. Uh, all right, let's go back to the docs. File name, driver. I don't understand this. Uh, driver method, syntax, driver file name. Exactly two arguments, one given. You have a file name and save screenshot. <sighs> Come on. Do I want the? I need the full thing. I need the full height. Yeah. Save screenshot. Oh, I am using Firefox, right? Yeah, Firefox. Screenshot, screenshot. Screenshot size, image.
save, screenshot, save, screenshot as file, driver, save, get screenshot. All right, let's try the other methods just to see. So that was grit, get screenshot as file. This isn't used anywhere. Oh, image crop. I gotcha. Same thing. Oh, come on. Shots file, it's still get screenshots file, like it's still all just the same. page in Selenium and Python. That works. Set browser height as longest as you can. However, longest height element. I tried various ones seem to work all about that. Yeah, so you just got to guess the height. Ooh, look at this. All right, I'll be back in a minute.
should not have caffeine at this point, but we're gonna do it anyways. Maybe, I got some water too. I'll try the water for a little bit. I can hear my Milky Way Midnight, or whatever they're called. To set. So here's one. This screenshot of the entire page can sometimes include needless vertical scroll bar. That would be fine. Let's take a screenshot of the body element instead. After saving the screenshot, it refers to the size that was recently. Filling which the size for the next screenshot must be correct. Is that correctly? Ultimately, this technique may still not work perfectly well for some examples. If using Python all in 3.6, remove the type annotations. I don't know if this going to none is. Let's see what this code does. Window size in Firefox is about 74 pixels taller than viewpoint, so require height plus 74 works for me now. Okay, we'll see. So let's save this for now. Put this in. Oops. Save screenshot, driver, chrome, path, attempt screenshot. We'll do this to here. Screenshot sized, we hope. I don't know what that dash to none does. Does that mean it doesn't return? Reference, original size, driver get window sized, driver ex execute script. Turn document.body.parentNode.scroll width and scroll height. That's really an interesting approach. Driver set window size. Yeah. Driver save screenshot path. A scroll bar. Find element of the body avoids a scroll bar. So we just pass it a path. Is that how we do this? Let's just try this to start with. Driver is not defined. Maybe making an edit to that. Driver, okay. I'll give you Chrome again, that's fine by me. You gotta do this, right? Is this how you do? <laughs> I don't even know. Size path. 
string equals driver. Okay, hang on, I'm gonna take this out of the thing for a minute. Let's just get the a top level thing working here for a screenshot. So let's just do this. Right, whoops. That's cool. And then we're gonna get this file or this page. What is this gonna do? We'll just do this. Charms, hotkeys, scrolling with me all the time. What's this gonna do? Oh, something exploded. Message unknown command session element screenshot. Is that happening? All right, let's just do this. Let's see if this works. Whatever, let's do this. Oops, guess we didn't need that. So I did a thing. Screenshot full. Still that. Okay. Well, that's weird. It changed a little bit. Hmm. Okay. Let's put the rest of this stuff back in. I don't care about getting the window size. So we've got it. We're going to do this, get the height, I don't know what I'm doing, there we go. And then we're going to set the window size, and then we're going to try it, let me get rid of this for now. Still no. Crap. Oh, maybe it's a thing. So, 3,000. I guess I should have just tried hard coding something first to see what happens. That didn't work either.
That's because I'm in Chrome. more stuff there. Yeah, there's a lot more stuff. Set window size is the trick. Oh, that's why the screenshots looked slightly different. Because it was Chrome versus whatchamathing. God. I should have done height. It's not set in the window size here. 29 or 26. So that's. What is this set up? That's 1900. Yeah. make sure I just want to do something silly here Adagram headless, start maximized, start it with those, get your URL, sleep for two seconds, find element, element, the layout, whatever, height plus height, set window size, sleep, save the screenshot, go. How it works, set browser height as longest as you can. All right, let's go the other way. I just wanna see. What happens if we try and make it smaller? 
Like, is this function working? Yes, it is. So possibly it's the max of the window. I'll bet that's it. Oh, crap. There you go. That's frustrating. Yeah, 500 by 500. That's what we'll see. Uh oh. Maybe. Where'd he go? There it is. Yep. So you probably can't. Those other things that we saw with required height. Uh, actually, well, whatever, it's fine. Let's do this in a second. So learn the best of web development. It goes down to get the latest from MDN. That's the that's the max height of that you can get. Ah, oh, it's a bummer. 1868. Yeah, it's a 1900 something and then there's the chrome of the chrome. And Firefox is the same, right? Sleeping Prophet, I took this out of that mix. I know I did. Can't remember if those numbers are different or not. But it's still hitting the same thing. Good lord. Space time blues. Oh, sucks. Element find element by page body. Oh my god, if this works. Oh, you know what we should have done? Let's go ahead and edit these real quick. Cause you gotta have, where's my edit? There it is. Gotta have that. This is the same thing. Like, uh, let's look at this too, by the way. This is not the official deck of official. What is here? Selenium Web Driver. Jeez. Hmm. Screenshots. Ooh. Exceptions. None. Get screenshot.
All right, let's just look at that. At this. Which is also going to need, like that's not gonna run. Cause driver's not defined. We need driver. Right. No idea where that's gonna write. Ooh, something exploded. is ping right why wouldn't you just well the first thing we're gonna do is fix this I'm assuming Firefox is what they use I'll at least get something in there aggravates me when people putting things that, hey, this works for me, and you run that code and it doesn't actually work because you didn't have all the required uh, calls. Whoop. <sighs> Driver, save screenshots. So, element. Wouldn't we just want to do element save screenshot? Wait, how did that one work down here when they're trying to do that? Driver find element by name screenshot path. Okay, why did this explode? Common exceptions, web driver exception, message exception, failure. All right, what if we run it without trying to save anything and just try and call? Oh, you know what we should do? Where's the, wait. My view table thing, we don't need that. Because didn't they have, wait, equals web driver wait 10. Explicit way in the code is to define a certain condition to occur before proceeding to failure. The extreme case of this is time sleep. Web driver is a combination with accepted conditions. One way to accomplish this. In the above code, Selenium will mate for a maximum of 10 seconds for an element matching the given criteria to be found. If it's not found, a timeout is thrown. So, okay, it's gonna timeout. You could you could tell it to look for an element. We'll get back to that in a minute, maybe. Selenium test, no, we'll make screenshots. Bring that back in. I like using that explicitly for um, for timing, since it's part of the uh, part of the package. Stuck. Oh, it finished. It just didn't do anything. Wait, what? Oh, web driver five. Oh my god. Wait a second. Hang on. Close this. Close that. Close that. 
Oh, it's not closed. Oh, I wonder if that's because I don't have quit down there. Yeah. How many of these windows did I open? A lot. I'm not 100% sure these are closing. We're going to do that. Oh. And that. Okay. First, we're going to put that in there. This doesn't actually call anything. Driver, web driver, Firefox. Driver, get. Right, this is get, then you get an element, and then we can do stuff with it. Okay, let's try this. Firefox is coming up, it's loading our page, quit our page. Okay, didn't do anything, but we got it. Edit this while we're thinking about it. Frustrating. Technique worked for me on one page, not for another. I waited for the page to load fully to, I have a newer answer which builds upon this and works a little more reliably. Is that the one that's just above? No, look at that. Something my web driver URL, get tag my body. Okay, what's this gonna do? I want screenshot path, okay. Where'd my path go? Should keep that up top. Oops, ah, come on, pride charm. Cross your fingers, folks. Hit the mic, folks. All right, so we got it loaded. We did a thing. Is that a celebratory Diet Coke? Oh, it is. Holy cow, okay. My God. Uh, okay. I don't know if that actually works. I'm not gonna up that just cause I don't know about this way he's doing it or she's doing it, they're doing it. Work such a brother as long as you can, as longest as you can. Oh, this is the one, yeah, that we looked at. That doesn't work so good. This also doesn't appear to be necessary. This works for me. It saves the entire business for more information on the screen. Okay. 
This can touch element by viewport, but you can get around this by capturing the body element. This web driver will capture the entire element, even if it's larger than the viewport. Love it. This will save you having to deal with scrolling and switching images. However, you might see problems with footer position, like in the screenshot below. Whatever. Ooh, what is that page? Is that Stack Overflow? No. Disappointing. I on Windows 8 and Mac High Sierra with Chrome driver. This one wins. Yep. <sighs> that took a long time to find. Of element. Yeah, so you could do this. I wonder what the EC is. Presence of element it located by ID. Yeah, I should probably put that in. That's eh, fine, whatever. I don't want to mess with that because I don't know what it's doing. Here, we'll put that in here though. Hey, Selenium. See, I already had some stuff. All right, let's clean some of this stuff up. Tape screenshots. This is the one we were just in. That's a good question. Yeah, it's funny. So when was the first answer? 319, yeah. That just didn't work for me. I wouldn't reset the, the window sizes. Yeah, set window size. None of this worked for me because it wouldn't expand. Oh, but this is weird. So for some reason, this didn't work for me when I first copied and pasted it. Which it should have. Because it's doing the same thing, find by element, screenshot it. Yeah, so I don't know why you would set the width and the height and all that stuff if you're just grabbing the element, it's kind of irrelevant. screenshot. That's oh, so nice. Well, it's also cool because you can just do specific elements. Oh, that is interesting. So you could just screenshot, so like on whatever, um, you could target in and say like, hey, I just want to screenshot the weather thing. Or try this. It's a little crazy. Where'd it go? All right, can we do this? We gotta find it. There we go. Oh, good lord. Uh, these are all not so names. Uh, never mind. You'd have to go through. This is not something I'm gonna build tonight. You could go through and do a pattern match for 68 on all the text and then bump up a few elements, however many, and then regardless of the name, because I'm guessing that name is dynamic, uh, and then do the screenshot that way. I'm not gonna do that. Here, can we do this? I just wanna see if this works. Is this something human? Sidebar. Scroll up. Sidebar? Ooh, okay. 
Okay, so let's try this. This. Oops. Single quotes, double quotes. I forget which one you're supposed to use. There's more Python y. Just standardize there for a minute. So we're using Firefox. Attribute find tag by ID. Oh, find element. Find element by tag ID. Oh, by tag name. That's what it was. I understand. So we're going to leave this here for a minute. all my tabs. Where did Stack Overflow go? Whatever. I probably could have just typed that. So we get the body. Just luck. Oh, I'm not logged in. So there's no sidebar. So let's go to a specific page. How about more pages we were on? Just make sure that actually works if you just hit it straight. Yeah. Excuse me. Oh, look at that. Take screenshot. Div. I think it says sidebar right there. Excuse me, but I can't get up to it. What the hell? There we go. Label, sidebar, ID, sidebar. Let's quit out of that just because it choked. And quit out of that. Survey says. Mm, did some stuff. Oh, 
There you go. Sidebar. Oh, interesting. That's where the Windows stuff may be coming in. Let's reverse those. For some reason, it's doing the full thing, but whatever. Um, though, that was kind of weird. I'll run that one more time. Yeah, it's definitely bouncing down. I don't know why. Maybe the sidebar really does go all the way down? Wait, it did both. Oh, okay, that's fine. Anyways, that's still pretty cool. Uh, you could do some image cutting on that if you really needed to cut it down. Um, not quite. Headless, but automated. So it pops the browser window. Uh, actually, can you Firefox web driver headless? Can you do that? Selenium. Options, headless, true, webdriver, Firefox, use that headless property through options as follows. When is this? 2017. Uh, if you need to disable or enable headless mode in Firefox without changing the code, you can set on as headless to whatever. Okay, so let's see. If we can make this work, because I'd like it to be headless. Options, options. Headless true. Why did the music stop? Spirit of fire. Spirit of go away because you're quiet and silent. Driver web driver options. Maybe that'll do it. Let's clear those. Process finished and nothing went up. Hey, look at that. Headless screenshots. That took a long time. Uh, so that's Firefox. Let's see if we can do it in Chrome. 
Groom. Running Selenium with Headless Chrome. Oop, that's not so good. This is that same article. Yes, he's just doing, he's just setting a viewpoint. So I don't think that would have worked either. Force viewpoint, for geez, viewport, good lord. Marbles. Uh, get started with headless chrome. That's not what I want. I want headless chrome for selenium. Oh. Is that the same? I think I jumped to a different. Uh... Yeah, so import Chrome options. Options, disable extensions, disable GPU, headless. Headless true also works. All right, so the first thing I actually want to do is just see if this works with Chrome. So fired it up, cool. Uh, unknown, something blew, blew it up. Unknown command. Screenshot. Oh, maybe that's what was screwing up down here. Down here. It's because I was trying it in Chrome and Chrome didn't know the screenshot command. For the element. Okay. Don't care. Care a little bit. active question from seven years ago I captured a screenshot of a specific element rather than the entire page in selenium you can get an element screenshot by cropping the entire page kind of as below driver get it doesn't tell you which driver Chrome, find element by ID, element location size, save screenshot. Yeah, see that's, it's also weird that the save screenshot is above all of that stuff. Individual element screenshots. Element screenshot is ping. Okay, let's see if that works because that's not what we had right or was that was what was down here no that's why that busted right Why 
Why didn't that tab? Come on. Does that work? Okay. Just want to make sure this still works. Whoops. Whoa, steady. Right. Should add timestamps to these just to make it easier to deal with. All right, let me just watch this. Why is that underlying gray? What am I doing? Oh, we'll see what happens. Options, headless, options, get, wait, sidebar. Okay, do that. Oh, sorry, it's done. I'm getting a little fuzzy. There you go. Uh, and also, just to make it more clear. Um, things separation of concerns Magic trick might be this right here. Whoops. This right here. I'll get the dot out of there in a minute. Right. All right. Let's see what happens. I'm fired. Didn't go headless. Error. I'm gonna command screenshot. Wait a minute. Thought we fixed that. Size is given in points. Press a screenshot produced by Derek Dryer has dimensions and pixels. Every screen has a pixel point other than one where the MacBooks. But he's not setting any of that. Oh, that's up here. Macro supports 
Individual element screenshots. I mean, directly capture. Yeah, when was this? It's 2019. I don't understand. Screenshot elements, Selenium Python. Learn and testing, support BI. Element.screenshot. screenshot with this field. Oh, it's Firefox again. Maybe it doesn't work in Chrome. Firefox. Get screenshot as ping. What does this do? Is that alive? Because if we can at least get it, then we could save it off. Nope. No attribute, right? Isn't that what the other thing was saying? about to not care about this because I got it working in Firefox. <coughs> really wish that had worked. Try this explicit command. Yeah, it never it never completes. Oh wait a minute, if that worked. Frustrating. I mean, awesome, but frustrating. And also, wasn't it two dashes? Mm, wait a minute. Now I'm curious. Yeah, it didn't work. Okay, that's good. I mean, it's not great, but you know it's good. Oh, come on, Chrome. Hold the quit. I have many Chromes open. Ooh. And that's a problem. When you hold the quit, it sometimes fires up different things. Oops, I think I just killed the wrong one. I don't trust doing that. It freaks it out. Wait a minute. Can you 
you turn that off now? Warn before quitting. You can't see that over there. Here. Look at that. Warn before quitting. I don't know why that's cropped like that, but whatever. We're going to turn that off. Didn't used to be able to turn that off. Okay, I don't know why it's not working, but so we can't do it in Chrome. Um, see, I was trying to quit Chrome and holding it, and it quit Chrome and then quit PyCharm. It's a shit UI. doesn't work. Firefox does. All right, options, headless, send your options, get, wait, find an element, find the thing, find the thing. Okay, sweet. Put that in our notes. We're gonna want all that. Uh, yeah, we want, wait, yeah, we want all this. And see, we're even gonna put the Python call in there because that's a full code sample. All right, sweet. So that was awesome. Uh, I've been looking for that for years. Um, and so I finally got it. I don't know what I'm, again, I don't know what I'm gonna do with that, uh, but I like having it. And like the fact that it's, I would have liked to have had Chrome as an option too, because why not? But like, I've got one that works now and I can fire that up and go. So um, that's, that's really, that makes me happy. Um, and we're gonna kill all the rest of this stuff. So save screenshot, that's file, load driver. Um, so we should put in some notes like, Uh, Firefox is only show the main, the initial window. Okay, so we got that. Those are all good. We kill that one. Anything interesting in here? the one yeah it's the same thing Ugh. 
that was weird. There's our stuff. There's our stuff. There's our code. Nice. And then there's our selenium stuff for getting an element. That's cool. Again, just for fun. I centered you. Oh, I wasn't centered. Sorry about that. Wait, why didn't it uh, print anything for us? Oh, I wonder if the page has changed. Shouldn't have tried it. Find element. Link list one and type two. It should be shrouded for it again. Why does it work? Oh, come on. Oh, because it's trying. It was running. It's the other thing that gets me with PyCharm. It wasn't running this file. Now it's running this file. I just made more screenshots. Uh, what was that? There go the screenshots. There's shot in front. Sweet. What's that? Uh, get terminal size. That was something I was messing with a while ago. It's fine. Put numbers, fine. Making befores. Mess with that later. Cool. Okay. So I'm gonna do one more thing. I think. Eventually, I'm gonna close a bunch of tabs. I like how Safari has changed to just having the little icons up here. I think that's new. Um, I really like it. It looks really sharp. Um, Especially this icon right here that is so small that y'all can't see it. It's a little A. Looks like my site. Um, that's going to take a little while to write up. Uh, oh yeah, so I guess I should put out... Uh, can't get that to work. Oh yeah, that's the other one. Okay, cool. So... The other one I want to do, let's do this. Let's actually add this to the notes. Getting the DOM. Oh yeah. Wow, I was going to do music stuff tonight, but that's not going to happen because I went down uh, a rabbit hole and figured something out that I've been working on for years. Um, I'm super happy about that. So, and I've got that DOM stuff. I really want to play around with that and see if this is I'm going to get better font colors here at some point because I'm interested in the accessibility of these. Um, and like, that's not a lot of contrast. Uh, oh, X, do I have X scope? Yeah, look at this. Hang on. Whoa. Pencil line tools on this. Remind me later. Where's the one that gives me crosshair? I registered this. Try and get the color. All right, it's up here. Uh, 
Oh, maybe that's not what I'm thinking of. Oh, can't make it go away. There we go. Uh, I was trying to get the color stuff because there's a neat um, color comparison site that I saw that gives you some guidance on the minimum amount of contrast you want to have for uh, basically a, they've come up with a number of rate of contrast ratio for people who have uh, limited vision and I want to make sure that all the stuff that I do pushes up uh, past that number. Uh, anyways, what we're going to do next. So, oh, well, first thing we're going to do is clear out those images just to get rid of them. Thank you. Uh, so I've got this little, so PWD is a command that prints the working directory, right? Mm -hmm. So PWD shows you where you are on the system starting from the root. I created one called PWC that instead of printing it, copies it to the clipboard um, or pasteboard, whatever you want to call it. I'll look at all those. Um, so it's easy for me to just grab a path real quick and paste it somewhere else. What I'd like to have, so if I make a new file here, um, is a way to go with, so PWC is a directory, but if there's a file in the directory that I want to get the path to, I want to go PWC test one. And then I want to have, you know, the when I paste, I want test one to be there, the, the full path to the file. So that's what I'm going to try and do now. Um, and before we do that, we're going to do this. And we're going to say this started to happen at three hours and nine minutes. Been going for a little while. Uh, I'll call it 310. 310. Uh, actually, I guess I'd do 308 because that's when I start to explain it. 305, whatever. It's fine because that's when I explained it. Maybe somewhere around there. So we get to that. I keep that in, um, I think, in my little functions file here. Uh, let me go to Sublime Text. Nope. Uh, whoops, that's not uh, undo. That wasn't for him. Uh, it's an aliases. All right, hang on one second. I just want to make sure there's nothing in aliases that y'all shouldn't see. Uh, aliases. That's fine. That's all fine. That's fine. That's fine. Those are fine, but also old. All right, these are all fine. Um, so here's, here's the alias that makes that happen. So the first thing I'm going to do is move it into a function because I'm trying to get more into functions. Um, and also I may need it as a function. I'm not sure. Um, So PWC, yeah, so I should just, I mean, this is all just one. So we get PWD, we pipe it to uh, TR, which I think is the truncate command. Oh, translate characters. This is one that I just looked up, but if you do TR space dash D and then slash N, it chomps new lines off because when you run the PWD command, there's a new line at the end of it. So we don't want that. We chop that off, and then you go to PB copy, which on a Mac uh, copies to the pasteboard, pasteboard copy, uh, which is the clipboard. So let me do uh, this. We're going to comment that out. We're going to copy it. We're going to go to terminal. We're going to go move the weird music. Thinking about the universe. Let's see how this goes. Um, where you go into my functions file. This is still not Vim. PQRS. So, if 
function PWC Right, so the question is, if we come back here and we reload that, I'm actually gonna make a new terminal window just to make sure this really does work. But if I do PWC now and hit paste, paste, cool, okay, so that's working. Now, bash function argument passing arguments into a function all right let's see how to pass uh, parameters okay to bash function yep uh shell function is something but a set of one or more commands each function has a unique name shell functions have their own command line arguments or parameters shell variables one and two Access arguments passed to the function. Okay. Oh, so you don't need to put it in the parens to like assign it to a variable and then call it in. It's funny, I wonder why you have the prints in. I guess it's just formatting. That looks like an image it is. Yeah. Uh, cool, so, all right, so we need to get uh, dollar sign one or variable one. Yeah, so my function name, your function name, foo's argument one, pass to the function, pos positional parameter one. Uh, let's go to Sublime Text. We solve it open. Yep. So. Okay, now I don't. So I would know how to do this with variables so let's start with um initial string equals that and then pipe Echo initial string to PB copy. I don't totally know what I'm doing here. We're gonna play around with it and see what happens. Uh, oops. Okay, nothing was there, so that didn't work. Right, so how? All right, let's just get something going here. Echo, yeah, to PB copy. Paste. Okay, so I got it. Oh, but it had the thing at the end of it again, the new line. So why, and then we'll just keep backing into it. Cause don't you just do initial string equals, this is a test. Actually, I guess we can do this, right? So we want to go PB copy. So 
let's do that. And then PB or PWC. Oh, maybe we should just be able to go past. Okay, so I got it. So why didn't this work? Oh, do you need to put it, ah, uh, you probably, how do you do that? Do you do this? Got it, okay. So that gets us the initial string. Oh, wait a minute, is this? Let's see what that does. There's our, okay, okay. There's our text coming in. So now if we do argument one here. And then PwC that, and then paste. That's got it, okay. So yeah, what, what we should be able to do, we're getting there, this is pretty close, is, uh, let's go to our desktop. Let's go to, why is that? Oh, I changed that so anything could write into it. That's kind of dangerous. I don't think there's something in there. Ah, whatever, it'll be fine, I'll kill it later. So PWC test one. Gives us all that with test one. Okay, so we're close. We're really close. I don't need to put that into a string, right, though? What if I do... I just pass that whole mess to uh, to PB copy. No such file or directory. What? Oh, 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 oh. Crap. Wait a minute. Too many arguments. PWC. No such file or directory. I don't understand that. Nothing happened. Go back here, and we're gonna set a string, and then we're gonna echo that string into PB copy again. I just want to. If we paste, nah, nothing's getting there. go back to where we were because this worked right no it did not oops okay now nothing's working
What is going on now? Oh, that's being overwritten right here. I gotcha. We paste. There we go. Okay, got that. I'm gonna stop editing. I'm gonna keep going down now. Once I get this in place. So this is just the string that I want, but it has, so I'm truncating a new line, but when I echo, it's gonna put a new line back in, but that's okay. Yeah. If I put the, all that, in, so, okay, that works. Oops, that didn't work. So if I put this in quotes, does it still work? Because it's all inside that. I should go look this up, but. Okay, that works. And then here. That's got it. Okay, so that works. That works. Okay, so that works. So we can back this off. We can back this off. Can we make that do that? There we go. That's what we're looking for. Now there's something we're gonna need to do. So the next thing we need to do is we're gonna need to strip that new line again, which we already know the code for that. So now when I paste, there it is. So that's most of it. Now what we need to do is Well, so what happens if we don't pass anything? I guess it just has a directory there, but I kind of don't want that last slash there. Uh, cool. So bash if argument exists function. I shall find out if a variable is empty or not. You pass a Z option, the if command or connection from if the string length is zero, variable var is empty. See syntax and examples and guys follows. More test bar. Okay. Echo empty. Right, you can also try these operators. So dash Z. I remember that. Bash one longer examples. Remember if bash variables empty. C jail and Oh, and and then or. If command, yep. Cool, so this is what we're looking for. Is this if then else? Um, so if dash C, oh, and something that I learned a while ago about bash is if you, you have to have that space in there, otherwise it exploded. I guess you want it in quotes in case it's a path that has thing bobs in it. Whoops, come here. 
Otherwise, so if it's empty, oh, I should have kept the original. Uh, the original might be an aliases. So if one is empty, just do the same command I've been doing. Otherwise, append one, append the path to it, then do the processing, and then we end it with phi. That might be it. Let's test. So reload our ZSHRC. PWC, there you go, we're in that directory. Now if we do PWC test one and paste, there it is. So yeah, that's awesome. Now we can, when I need to copy a file to, or copy a path to a file, it's just PWC and then the file name. And then, uh, then it's there. That's awesome. I've been meaning to do that for a while. I didn't think it would take too terribly long. I just kept not doing it so uh sweet and that's probably gonna be it for now uh it's a three and a half hours long stream so that's probably uh that's probably pretty solid we'll uh we'll we'll, we'll call it an evening uh call it a call it a day evening night friday whatever so anyways y'all have a good one be kind we'll see you next time